<laughs> you won't. <laughs> Good morning. Time to wake up on this Wednesday morning. 72 degrees out there. Feels quite nice. JC. Let's get this party cranking on what's going to be uh, 95 degree weather. Didn't mean to steal your thunder there. I hope it That's don't, okay. but it's going to be uh, hot on today. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. As you know, this is Athens in the AM on a Wednesday morning where it's 10% off at Herbs and More every Wednesday morning. If you mention something about today's program, join us today. Seth, as always, and making his first appearance on live television here in Athens. Alabama, though he's been here for 10, 14, 12, 13 years. <laughs> Daniel Metcalf like from down at Emmanuel Baptist Church up on Highway 72. He'll be singing Amazing Grace for us later this morning, won't yeah. you? Can you sing us early in the morning? I don't know if I can work that out for you or not. There, I've been telling you all about that book he's written, Glimpses of God. We'll go through that in just a little bit coming up later on this morning. Frank on the phone, Abby on camera, Brad back in the back directing everything here. Frank! Thank you for bringing us some good-looking tomatoes. Man, there ain't nothing better than a cold tomato sandwich with salt, bologna, and cheese, and a piece of lettuce. Nice. Mustard's what I use. My name's Fattening, Frank. Sunday morning, what was it? Saturday morning after I got back from spending with Dusty, came back, had a sandwich about that big for breakfast. <laughs> mm, it was good, too. Y'all can drop off tomatoes here anytime you want. Speaking of tomatoes, I got an email from the Farmer's Market Indicator. 27th, is that next Saturday? Saturday week, they're giving away free tomato sandwiches down there, and I'll tell you more about that later to Farmer's Market in Decatur. Saw my buddy Carol Ann down there last year, and we were over there. So we'll try to get down there next week do some of that, too. Lots of things happening. This is a place to be informed. Let's get it cranking right now. Gonna be a hot one, ain't it? It sure is. We need to get home early today, JC. Just saying. <laughs> it's gonna be 95 degrees today. Can you believe that? 72 out there right now. Now, they were saying um, the chance of rain, the biggest chance of rain was Thursday, but actually, it's dropped down to 20% chance of rain basically every day. Welcome to summertime. High temperatures, well, we've got 93 for your high. May even see 95. Tomorrow, 90. 10 to 20% chance of those pop-up thunderstorms. So just keep an umbrella close just in case. It won't last long if you do actually get to see some rain. And there's a chance of rain every day for the next seven days. A little hot out there. Small took Zorro for a walk at 3.30. It's like 75. Beat it. Mutt. Hey. Huh? Seth, how are you, buddy? Wonderful. I love summertime. Yeah, it's a good right. time to get out. And Daniel, thanks for coming up on your first time. Rick Moe goes to your church. We yes. won't hold that against you. No, no, we won't. We'll, we'll take Rick. We'll claim <laughs> yeah. him. You're Bama fan. Grew up, what did you say, Snow Town? Snow Town. North of Birmingham. Never heard of that. Must be. You have to be from within five miles of there to hear it. All right, you've written this book. We'll talk about this. Glimpses of God coming up. Joe, is this the first book you've written? Yes, sir. That's a good one, too. Yeah. I want to write me a book one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's too call much it? editing. To yeah, we'll talk about something. You're, you're from a small town. As a matter of fact, speaking of small towns, we're going out to New Hope today to visit my two brothers. And uh, you got brothers? Go, I got two brothers, and we're going out there to visit them and uh, check with them a little bit and try to talk to these two ladies. Now, I was telling the story the other day. I uh, uh, saw an obits where my one of my school teachers had died at 88 years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading the obits there, and I look down, and uh, it says, survived by her two older sisters. Well, the two older sisters, one of them was 98, and one of them was 96. One of them's husband used to be my history teacher, and the other one's uh, husband used to be my basketball coach. My the 96-year-old drives the 98-year-old around, and according to my brother, they both get along and walk and talk better than anybody he's ever seen. <laughs> but they're scared to be on TV. At that age, why would you be scared of anything? 98, 96, that's a... Uh, that's amazing. Must be that good life in New Hope. Never anything to do out there. So uh, <laughs> growing up out that way. So, all right, Seth, what you gonna be talking about today? Well, um, we're gonna be talking about a lot about brain function, cognitive ability. Um, there's a new product that has come out. That have you ever seen the movie Limitless? They no. They take the pill and all of a sudden. Is this that brain pill y'all yeah, got? Yeah, yeah. A hundred percent of the brain function works. Well, that's what they base this around. And there's a whole lot of ingredients in there that goes into um, extremely increasing cognitive ability, which I'll go into that in a whole lot more depth here in just you a minute. You mean I'd be able to stay focused and not do ten things at once? Yeah. Oh, one thing at a time, and you'll finish it. Well, huh? I usually finish them. <laughs> and it's really worth it. Yeah, it's, well, I've been using it, and um, it helps me to finish one newsletter at a time without coming up with 14 ideas in the middle of one, uh. which is great. Um, for me. <laughs> so um, it's, it's really increased my ability to not only focus on one thing, but to throughout the day I don't get that um, brain fog which I'm 
accustomed to being like, yeah, I need to go take a nap. This is just crazy. Um, so it really helps in that aspect, too. And you can feel it when it kicks in, which is pretty cool, too. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It ain't like that geek stuff I took from you, is it? No, you can definitely feel when that kicks I in. I took that and, and <laughs> cut the grass. Man, I come back, my shirt was soaking wet with sweat. Yeah. You know, so it's 90 degrees like out there. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. 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 I like cutting the grass when it's 90-something degrees. Make you me feel good. Yeah. yeah. Since this is the first year I've ever cut my own he grass. Works till the hottest part of the day. You I got me a... 12 to 2. Oh, that's yeah. what I do. That's how you get that's, a tan. That's right. Well, I don't worry. I ain't want no sun. Oh, but me. if you want to find out, get something, go down to... Dixie Auto Parts, we were there yesterday. I want to say hello to Bill, Peggy, and Richard, and everybody down that way. All right, Seth, here's the, you've been to Chuck E. Cheese. You've taken David there. You've probably been to Chuck E. Cheese. You've got four kids. Mm -hmm. I, I play Is more games than he does. Is that one of the hustles still open there on uh, Jordan Lane? I'm not sure. And there's one in the show area, there. I know, too. There's one in Decatur at the mall. Oh, is it Decatur? Yeah, one too? yeah we, we paid for that one. Chaos at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Parents brawl during happy birthday song after mother holding her baby punches another woman in the face. Oh, That's right, a fun yeah. day at the arcade turned violent this Saturday. Saturday, an all-out brawl erupted between warring factio uh, factions of mothers at Chuck E. Cheese. After the punch, round the co uh, Long Island party venue was thrown by a woman still holding her baby in her arms when she threw the punch. And then she came back with the baby, gives the baby to a stranger, or I guess she did the baby, and then she punches the woman again. Class act. I, yeah, I have a, uh, I have a philosophy here. Women should not fight. No, they should not. So, yeah, she came back holding Terrible. a baby with one hand and pointing at the accused fling, finger at the other one. The two groups faced off as frantic managers stood in between. Punch him out at Chuck E. Cheese. Wild party. It was a wild party. Wow. Sounded like it. Uh -huh. Sounded like it. Mm. Now you got four kids. Ages. Yes. You got one baby, right? Or almost. Or... Well, they're all in school. We got. Um, Anna, our, our oldest, is going to be 15. I'm going to tell you what they're going to be. Yeah. Matthew's going to be 13 because <laughs> that's coming up in a few weeks. Uh, Grant is uh, going to be 10. Joshua's going to be 8. So we have one in, right. this is our year where we have one in every school. We have Anna going to be in the high school, Ruthie at the middle, Grant at the intermediate, and Joshua at the elementary. And in about 10 years, you're going to be free. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody driving. We're with the taxi cabs this yeah. year. Yeah. Don't be thinking you're free. Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. all, yeah. At 18, they're out. I don't yeah. care. Okay. Sometimes they yeah. never leave. Right, Abby? <laughs> all right, here's a <laughs> Nantucket man has taken on a 200-pound shark in one. It's something you'd run up your alley. All right. Spectacular photograph captures the moment Elliot Sudale oh, wrestled in one him. sandbar <laughs> shark after hooking it while fishing. Uh, Sunday evening, the 24-year-old, like he works out anyway, some pals okay. were hunting for bluefish off the coast of Massachusetts when he met the seven-foot adversary and drug him in. He had just moved there from Florida, and he said, uh, I've done this before. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if I'm at Gulf Shores, I see something <laughs> like that in the water. I ain't never getting back out there. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you got to admit, he didn't look pretty formidable himself. I mean, right. wasn't like he was a little dude. Well, no, but still. It's still a shark. That thing probably still take your freaking arm off, couldn't it? Yes. I mean, hey. I can imagine. Oh, that's, that's what, what makes like it that. fun. All right, let's talk about SEC Media Days. By the way, that is on ESPNU Live today and tomorrow from 12 to 6 each afternoon. And then you can see more Alabama tomorrow, Auburn today. But here's the good news for you Auburnites out there. Auburn's first three football games this season will be in the evening. Southeastern Conference announced today. Pac-12 Washington State will kick off at 6 p.m. Central on August 31st and be televised by ESPNU. Of course, you know the other game on that night starts at 4.30. <laughs> it is the Virginia Tech-Alabama game.